it's gonna be a Halloween animation using Magic Move, which is the simplest way to animate uh, sort of like a flight um, movement. Now we're gonna start off with our background. Quite easily done, we're in the slide here. We're gonna go to Advanced Gradient Fill and just grab some colors. Start with black, and then over here, there's a plus sign, hit that. Let's add a dark purple. Go over here, add a slightly lighter purple. We've got a blue there already. Now one thing I like about this is that when I move it around, it changes things, right? I think the black itself might be a little too black, but as you notice here, between the purple and the black, it goes gradients through, so I can get like a really dark purple that's almost black. Drag this out, it's gone. So now we're working with something like this, make it a bit darker, or maybe add another one. Make it a bit darker, more gradient there. We're really not gonna see this blue here, so I might as well just lose it. Anyway, so that's our background, ready to go. Now we need a scary backdrop. We're gonna use Draw with Pen for this. And I always draw on the starting from the outside for this sort of thing. So I want it to sort of, I wanna have a scary looking castle sort of on a cliff here. So this will do. Get a bit jagged down at the end, that's fairly ominous, right? And then get back to some rolling hills over here. Every time I tap, I'm dropping uh, a little square here that's an indication of where I'm changing the line's directionality. When I get to the last one again, it's done. Now double tapping rounds things out, which I like for here, not for down here. Now we go to black. What do you think? Fairly ominous? I like it. Next. I'm actually gonna bring it down a little bit. Want more room for my scary house, which we're gonna make completely vector graphic style with black rectangles. Okay, so there's one in format style, make it black. Command D duplicates it, so I can just keep reusing it again, even if I wanna make things a little bit narrower, like this. Command D, actually, you know what, not Command D. I'm gonna add like a turret to the top here, or this little roof, whatever you'd like to call it. Make that black as well, of course. A little bit smaller, a little bit pointier is probably a little more frightening, a little wider. Now, there's a little line shows me it's right in the middle. If I command, or pardon me, shift click on this, command option G groups it, command D duplicates it. So I can now drag it over here. So I got a couple, make this one a little shorter. Maybe make this one, oops, make this one a little taller. Stretch it out a bit. I can even duplicate this, make another one for the center that we're gonna make a little bit wider still. Get it right in the center. Next, why not grab one of these things? If I double tap it, I can get it again. Command C, <coughs> copies it, click outside and Command V puts it back in. Now, I'm actually gonna change this to this orange here because I'm gonna make tiny little random windows to put on here. We don't need many of them. Command D, just drop them here and there. Command D, spooky, right? So I think we got a pretty spooky looking setup here. Let's add a scary moon now. Circle, drag it over. Same orange, what do you think? Make it yellow if you like. You can just click on this to get simple colors, or you can click on this to get colors from down here. I think maybe brighter is better. Now how about we'll add a spooky cloud. Once again, draw with pen. We're just making a bunch of sharp points right now which are gonna be rounded out later. Now I'm gonna start double tapping on every one of these points, which is gonna round them out. Don't worry how weird it looks until we're done, because then we can make some changes. Double tap, double tap. Want it to be spooky. All right, not so much spooky as weird, so we're gonna change that around quite a bit. Now you can play with this as much as you like. I'm gonna call that spooky enough for the sake of this long tutorial. I'm gonna make that black. But then, I'm gonna get this out of my way. I'm gonna make it opaque quite a bit so that we can see through it. So now, it's kind of like that. Nice, right? I'm actually gonna command D duplicate that. I have in, up here, my uh, toolbar up here is all customized. You should watch the video how to do that or just go to Format, Arrange, and use this to flip it around. Make it upside down as well. 
I'm going to go to constrain proportions so it stays the same shape no matter what. Just dump that over there for a little more of a feel. Maybe even, what if we duplicate that and drop another one over here? Sure, why not? Now, that is our background. We're gonna lock it now so that when we add other elements, um, we don't accidentally grab them when we're trying to work on things. So, we're in format, command A to grab it all. Lock it down, can't be moved now. All right, up to our next tutorial now, we're gonna make a bat. In order to make a bat, once again, vector graphics, we're just gonna make a bunch of stuff up. Format, arrange, constrain proportions. I like to make it big, I can shrink it down later. Now style, make it black. And we're just gonna add a bunch of different shapes in here and join them together to make our bat. Um, it's easier when you're starting out or working with younger people, younger students, to make one and then just duplicate it and flip it around. All right, I'm actually not gonna make this rounded at all. Round is generally speaking cute, whereas angular is scary or serious. So I'm just gonna grab these. You don't see it till you go over it, then you can grab it over and bend it in. Try that black. Not bad, but this is too big now. All right, there we have it. Grab this one, Command D duplicates it. Flip horizontal, arrange, flip, drag it over. You can see the lines will tell you when it's all lined up. Oh, uh, it's nice. Again, Command A grabs everything. Command Option G groups it. Next thing we need are some scary eyes. Okay, so tap, 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 and then close it, round it out. Round it out, even round it out more than that here. Make as spooky as you like. I'm gonna go with yellow, I think. Piercing yellow eyes. Go on the color wheel, get yellow. But we don't need line. Well, we could leave the line actually on this because it has a black background, but we're not gonna bother. Again, format, arrange, constrain proportions to make it so it maintains its portions when you do this. Now, pro tip, if I double tap, even when it's grouped, I can still copy it. Get out of it, paste it. It has its proportions constrained, so I can make it tiny, and then I can dump it in the eyeball. Shift, tap, command option G, command D, flip it over, we got our eyes. Shift, Click, Command Option G, there we go. Now Command A to grab it all, Command Option G to group it all. Okay, so now let's move on to our next tutorial, how to animate using Magic Move. Since this guy has already been grouped using Command Option G, Command C to copy it. I'm gonna put it on our background over here. Spooky looking background. Command V, here it is, got the big guy here. Now. I don't want him to be a big guy. I'm gonna make him a little guy. I'm gonna start with him over here. Make him even tinier so we don't really know that he's there. I just do whatever you want. Have fun, be creative. Now, easiest way to animate. Of course, in Animate, we have all kinds of different things. If I select an object on the slide, I have build-ins, actions, and build-outs. That is another tutorial. Um, it gets a little bit sticky sometimes when you add a lot, trying to order them and things, but for this, the simplest way possible is, I'm not gonna select an object. I'm gonna get out of it, and now it says transitions. Transition is movement between slides, whereas animations are things that happen on slides. So, I'm gonna go over here. Now that that's highlighted yellow, Command D will duplicate that. I'm gonna go over here. Now this transition is going to be a magic move. All right, it's ready to go. That means, it's gonna go from this slide to this slide and anything that's moved that is on both slides will transform. Right now, if I do it, go to preview, you'll see that nothing happens. But if I go over here and I change this guy, let's say I just make him a little bit bigger. Now, it'll look like this. If I go to preview, you'll see him grow. So now I'm gonna go down here Command D to duplicate that. And now it's just a matter of moving this around. Give us a sort of a Batman-y effect over here. 
Oh yeah, right in the middle. I love those lines, those guiding lines that show us when things are lined up. Now you might notice this blue uh, triangle in the corner. That means it has a transition. So I want all these to have transitions. So shift, click, now they're both highlighted. And I can add in animate over here. Or I can add the magic move. Now, really, all I'm gonna do is command duplicate this a bunch of times, go back to find the one, and then I'm just gonna move this around and you can see what happens. It will automatically fly wherever I've told it to go over here. And in this very final one here, we're gonna now go to the next tutorial and we're gonna add um, some text. It's gonna say, Happy Halloween. So let's go with something that I have before. Uh, scroll to the top shows what I've used recently. Funny and cute, not bad, I like that. Now, I can just, it's all highlighted in the text box. I can command plus it to make it bigger. I can go over here under formatting text options, go like this, or I can kind of just wing it. Type in 80, I think that's about right. And I'm gonna make that a more Halloween-y color. Nice dark orange. This is sort of a quick uh, palette. If you click on this, however, you can go and find some more. There we go. Happy Halloween. So now, I'm going to also animate it. Animate. The build-in is going to be good old flame, because that's a nice uh, effect on the dark. Fantastic. If I'm going to make that a GIF, I might want to make it a little bit... Uh, longer because gifs speed things up but i think with this number of slides i'll probably stick with uh turning it into a youtube video i'll teach you both of those later now finally i'm going to select this guy and i'm going to have a build out i kind of like this one as if he's uh scale big as if he's flying out at us Ooh, spooky all right so that's the end of that in the next video tutorial here i'm going to show you how to record it export it to quicktime all right up here at the top gonna go to play record slideshow now I'm gonna turn off my mic down here because I'm gonna add a soundtrack a, a copyright free soundtrack from YouTube so we won't don't want any extra data getting eaten up here so here we go it's gonna go three two one and count me down now I'm actually using the arrow keys to cycle through these animations these transitions but I could just as easily have made it automatic so I only had to start it off all right happy Halloween here we come now for the scary end whoa all right down here we're gonna stop it we can play it and watch the whole thing if we'd like see how our recording went all right it's looking pretty good back up to the top here and close it now we have uh, recorded this keynote but we can't use it as a video until we export it File up here, export to QuickTime. Next, just hit enter, so give myself a step. I just save it in movies, of course, Halloween video or GIF, perfect export. And it shouldn't take too long, it'll zip across here and then it'll be all ready and we can watch it as a movie. Command tab, cycle through to Finder here, go to movies, there it is. And you can see it's operating as a video now. Fantastic, okay. Our final step, we're gonna upload this to YouTube. Go through to my YouTube channel over here. Upload video. I'm gonna be making a lot more YouTube tutorials, so please make sure you subscribe if you're inclined. All right, movies, easy to find. Halloween, double tap, and up it goes. Exclamation point. Now a tag or two, Halloween. Tap, enter, creativity, digital, story. It's also a new form of literacy. Gives you the idea. This makes it easier for uh, people to find your stuff. Go to publish. And once the processing is done, we can go to the video and then we're gonna go to edit because there's no sound on it now, don't forget. Edit video down here. Now we're gonna go to audio. And I'm gonna look for tracks. Scary. Give it a listen.
You know what, you can go through all these, find whatever you like, save the changes, and now that's gonna be ready to go. You're up and running, you're all done. You can now be a superstar or teach other people to be superstars. It's really quite addictive once you get started. You can create so much with Keynote. I'm sharing more stuff out all the time. Please subscribe. Alrighty, that's that. Thank you very much. Woohoo! Let's go. Have some fun.